So, hello everybody, and welcome to The Witcher. <laughs> I know, I told you all I'll play Lost Ember, but I have a good reason that I don't. I spilled some soup on my keyboard. <laughs> And so yesterday I sat there, cleaning it the whole day, scrubbing away, and uh, now currently it's drying. And the replacement keyboard I have, half the button, as I, I have to write on it, like on a typewriter, I have to smash the buttons. And I just have to quit it that I'm live. Yeah. But basically, my keyboard right now that I'm using, I can't play with it because it's so unreliable and my normal keyboard is drying currently so I had to play something that I play on controller and this is the first game that I completely played on controller so uh, that was the game of my choice for today. Also, I wanted to um, play it anyway again because I wanted to complete all the question marks, all the little quests, everything. I wanted to completely finish the game because although I've played it five times, I never completed it like this. I've played through the story a couple times. Like I think I've played it five times. Twice on computer, thrice, thrice on computer, twice on my on uh, PlayStation Four, and uh, I never completely hundred percented it. So I wanted to do that. I'm almost done with the post. Let people know that I'm live. I think that's all. Okay. Now, you see there, continue, and I don't know where this will take me. The last time, according to my GOG account, was uh, three years ago. Three years ago, I've played this for the last time. The curse that held him up proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven saint. Oh, wow. Avalach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists. Oh. The spring spike. Memories. Okay, I just wanted to see. Oh my god. <laughs> it's been so long. 
I absolutely loved this game and I still do. I think this is the best game, at least in my opinion. Oh my god, it's been so long. Okay, but... Oh, this is a new game plus, even. <laughs> I think at least. It seems to be according to my level. But... I am going to... Hold on. Start a new, completely new game. Completely new game. Uh, just yeah, story and sword. Blood and broken bones. Wasn't it blood? Sweat and tears? Once? Ah. Yeah, let's do this normal. Uh, I'm going to... Yes, the tutorials. Simulate Witcher 2 safe, I don't even... If I have it on this PC. Uh... Sure.
you know I don't find that amusing. <laughs> it wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. So, later then. Hmm. See you later. Oh no. I was afraid there for a second and we would be getting <laughs> we would get banned. Oh Anyway, welcome everybody to Witcher 3. I need to stay quiet for the intro. <sighs> It's, like I said, it's been a while. Shit. Mountain pass is beautiful as ever. Yeah, this is... This was the first game that I ever was excited to, for the release for. Like, I, I counted the days, I read up on every update they put out. <sighs> it's... It's bringing back many memories. I... <laughs> I have family in Poland, my... My parents are both Polish. And at the time my father was in Poland visiting family and... Uh, <laughs> I instructed him to buy me the game when it released there. See, I thought Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive, not to mention unreasonable. I missed you a lot. And I missed you, but we'll have plenty of time to make up for that. Nope. Go and train with her. Then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of all the women I've known, you're the only one who does that before. You've known many. <laughs> What's it matter? Only ever thought of you. <sighs> no. No. Oh, can't sprint. Right. Freaking key. Oh, yeah. Let's snoop around it. Lilac and gooseberries, of course. Geralt, stop fingering my toiletries. <laughs> <sighs> oh, how I've missed it. Got any clothes that aren't black or white? Hmm. Undergarments. 
and bit of a warning you will hear me gush about this game a lot you're running out of juice i know you might bring me some more once you're done training I absolutely love this game. That's why I wanted to revisit it once more. Old Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. She prefers practice to theory. Hmm. What? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruce lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. If she wants to practice, she'll get to practice. She's just a kid. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. You like that about her? <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. See why you were so eager to practice. Strike. You're not in this circus, pirouette. Wrong. Footwork. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes, I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Mm. No, you have to know. Apology is not enough. Actions must follow. Sorry's not good enough. You're gonna read Ghouls and Al Ghouls in its entirety, appendices included. No, please! I'd rather clean the stables! End of discussion. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Uh. Yeah, sure. Why not? I can. Use the training. Of course. Is a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? <laughs> to the bottom. <laughs> Maybe if you fall.
Oh, they. What did I tell you about breathing? Through your mouth, in rhythm with your steps. Siri, cut it out. <laughs> Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Mm. So you did. Read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if. But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. <laughs> so you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Siri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Uh, I think I need a bit practice with the signs. Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals, and Ciri's barely a novice. Sword, okay. Oh, yeah. Right. Dodge. All this. Okay. Siri, see how Geralt holds his sword. It's angled. What am I supposed to parry? Yeah. Making a stupid dummy. Pretend now. Live later. Repost. Strike. Counter strike. Okay. Uh, left. Trigger. 
Start with Twain. Uh, I did that. Oh. Right, trigger. Siri, Quen is sometimes called the Witcher's Shield. Now watch carefully to see what. No. Cast Igni, Geralt. I want to see sparks fly. Igni? Hello? Oh, yeah. I... Alright, Geralt. Come on! And the one I, I still I'm still used to using um, Nintendo uh, controls. See that, Siri? Hard will knock anyone or any. Time for Axie. Damn it! I hate this feeling. Uh. I Tom Foolery, enough. Axie uh, can only muddle your mind. Too late to surrender. Erdan now. Show her, Geralt. Ow. Who's next? What the blazes are you doing? Training, sir. Okay, there we go. So I just wanted to. Hello? Oh, there we go. See this, Siri? Throw a bomb. Don't worry, Siri. Quen will dampen the blow. Um. Oh. Come forward. Okay. Had enough. Oh, okay. Uh training apparently is over. Also, I want... I want to parry. Surrender. I'm too old for this shit. 
Okay, I think I have it. I got it. Hello? There you go. <laughs> Whoa! You really showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she devil. As soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Moy. It's a bit quiet suddenly. Find that helmet. Siri. Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. <laughs> had a nightmare. About? It'll take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Let's talk about it. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in the tub and next to me... Tris? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. <laughs> we'll find her. I know we will. That's not what worries me. You've seen her tracks. She's at full gallop all the time. Breakneck speed through wildlands, devastated battlefields. She's in a hurry to get somewhere, or fleeing something. Either way, it means trouble of some sort. Be surprised if she wasn't in trouble. She's always poked her nose in beehives. Courtly intrigues here, mages' conspiracies there. What do you expect? Don't know. Guess I thought once we were finally reunited, things would be calm, at least for a while. Calm? With Yennefer? <laughs> Good luck. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. And then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. 
Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Siri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Siri'd appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything. Wraiths included. Mmm, I'd argue. Wild Hunt are more than just Wraith. Be downing soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow our trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We <laughs> must meet soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? <laughs> uh, no, he doesn't need to know everything. <laughs> That's private. Very private. Aha, I understand. At least I think I do. Maybe not entirely, but perhaps that's for the best. So, uh, Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Uh yeah. There's a mirror. You okay, buddy? Hmm. Completely forgot about the adrenaline point. Of course. When armies pass, necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. And yeah, I just want. Stuff. Also, uh, what? Activate so I can see. There we go. Find the crystal skull from Yennefer. Third skull in black crystal. Why do I think this is Yen's? Because it is. Okay. Uh. Short break. I need to go to the toilet. And, uh. Yeah. Just. Generally, we can grab a snack, get a drink, I'll be right back.
Okay. I'm back. Um, and resume. Hello, Ever Roach. tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. <laughs> because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> <laughs> because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. War is not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edern are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders, as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going. Uh, I already mentioned with my plates about we going help me help Has gone. Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but Griffins like to toy with their prey. Beat it alive, piece by piece. My oh, cats. Oh. You'd, you'd like a reward, I suppose. Uh, no, it's okay. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yeah? What? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But... There's an inn here in White Orchard. Sole one around. Gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Besides, the innkeep's my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. 
But sure, use a good rye, nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. <laughs> okay, uh, I was just about to say. Yes, I oh know. It's looking around. I have about 240, 50 hours in this game, so. But it's been over three it, years. So, bear with me. So, a griffin this close to the village? Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest or the mountain, sure, but here? And near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Perhaps monsters crazy sometimes. Man, true. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn it. Okay. Not so fast, Roach. The Temerian lilies, they've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. See him in the oh, background. Drink with Weaver Loss Freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used there to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm -hmm. Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Um. Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin. Others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest in war. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. Is there a contract on that griffin? Nay, good. not at the moment. Used to be. As soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the lord for help. Now, the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. And... Seems they hanged the Lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something. Oh my god. What's the horse doing? <laughs> have you seen it? Have you seen out the window? Roach, what the fuck? Well, I don't need anything from the shop. And you can see a uh, counter of Jim in the background from time to time sitting. Piece of shit. Anyway. Looking for a woman. Raven haired, violet eyes. 
Dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, yes. lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. Believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially <laughs> hard to forget this one. Plenty of travellers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. It's been a couple of years, but Roach still fucked up. Thanks. For everything. <sighs> Let's mingle. Get. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Black Poor horse out measure in the fields. Let him measure. It's better that than burning the harvest. Drommel, Drommel, you're dumber than a headless cockerel. Why are they marking out them lines, eh? Passing out their patrimony. Give it to their own. Hmm. Once more, there oh. are four factions. Four factions, teams, suits, similar to clubs and spades, except each suit has its own face cards. There are also special cards. Wouldn't you rather play war? It's like to be near dawn before you get your game in the noggin. <laughs> Oh yeah. Went. Never got to play the solo game though. So I love the end game game. What a waste of time! The earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Gitt, assistant professor in contemporary history at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia, witcher with tenure. I'm looking for a woman, long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not. Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope, but it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other, drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Mm, 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 mm. 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 Mm-hmm. Interesting. We need somebody to describe war, what it's really like. Not colorful banners and generals making moving speeches, but rape, violence, and thoughtless cruelty. Ah, I see you lack the polish of the Academy. Rape and cruelty are details of no import to the war's course. Trinkets on the garment of conflict, one might say. Oh. Tell that to the people whose houses burned down. Piece of shit. I, I saw the pictures. Saw the pictures from Ukraine. Where Russian soldiers have retreated some cities and villages. Not that to them. 
Oh, no, we can't, because they're dead. Horsewoman of war. What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. <laughs> That's what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. All right. Mm, why not? Splendid. Here's how it's done. Um. I think I remember. And stop. Should we need instructions? It's been a while. I think I'll pop. Said it's been a while. Uh, what was Just play faster. Oh, fucking Christ. Are you serious? Oh. 
Fuck off. <laughs> oh, hi. Thank you so much for the follow. AI eight eight seven. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stefan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. Like I said, it's been a while. <sighs> oh, the cat. friend so ominous I don't feel sweet chill go outside if others use up oh yes I Finally, I have home. Ew. Paint. It's inspired by uh, paintings that I always love this game. You please put the hell up. Oh, yeah. What the fuck did. Gaunter. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. <laughs> Four. Drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Come help it. <sighs> what do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to Rodin at your service. Vagrant? That a profession now? Uh, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror or the Man of Glass. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballad, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Mm -hmm. Unless that is. He's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads too? To your help. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? 
No, none of your business. None of your business. Yes. As a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An Ilf Guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Nope. So creepy. Doesn't she? Serious. Oh yeah. Stash. Ooh. <laughs> Anything. Oh. On this one. Maybe we should save. someone and we seek some peace and quiet out of my face freak for your breath sours my beer and there aren't you here's actually here yeah. nah. waste of words don't have time for your kind smart nor do we have time for yours I yeah, know. Chill, would ya? <sighs> okay. Enough room for everybody. Cheap Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. someone else to help three of you don't stand a chance against me well i could fuck you up by myself if i had a bag over my head and my hands tied behind actually no not even then chet lesh back off i'll teach this vagrant a lesson man on freak Durban now. D E R B A N. Not Goidemar. What? Freak. What do you mean? I know what they named you at your cutting. What kind of name is that anyway? Durban. Nilfgaardian. My gran was from Nazaire. Oh, so that's how it is. Damn, which is. Find my lead, Master Durban. May the gold sun guide you far away from my land. Bollocks from a new rights unicorn. What do you 
you say? Who told you that? Uh, Chetty. Now listen carefully. You're never to sing that rhyme again. Never. And you're not to play with Chetty no more. But Chetty's my best mate. Chetty's a little fool who will get us all killed. I see you with him again and you'll regret it. Okay. Let's see. Sing my command. To the village. At the stand as proof of the residents by the orchard that the new rule is care for the safety. Bandits, but also seas using which have long been vast world. <laughs> the men refusing to die with this order will be flocked in stocks. Like food ration, supplicate able to the of the poverty will be punished like any other the I waited. No longer live in the various land where does as he's part of the great empire of Nil. Reminds me of Rome. With guardian law, I protects you. He describes the new Human forces have brought you to the Forge Nightmare. Grab a hold of it, the Dark Age shall soon give you a bright new area. New era. Yeah, Rome and uh, Catholics. Both of them. Yes. My pride, Hellraiser. What? It's in there. What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got a nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, Dimwit? Some bugger set a light me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Sorry. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to serve as their garrison. Bang dents out of plate, shoe horses. That's what I think. Elf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> Not much left. But I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in. He gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks, but found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. <laughs> also, uh, if you're interested who did some of the 
soundtrack. <laughs> I think a slingshot will not be enough or bear. <laughs> I know that. Uh, I'd be interested to know uh, who made some of the soundtracks. Uh, it's Percival Schuttenbach. I absolutely love their music. I have pretty much all of their albums on Spotify liked and listened through a couple times. They do m many Slavic songs, like traditional songs and uh, any Slavic language, so like not just Polish. They are a Polish band, but absolutely love their stuff. Recommend. If you like the music. from a tinderbox. Arsonist must have lit his torch here, tossed it on the roof, then fled through the orchard. Also, this will be interesting to see since I've been... and I started this when this came out. I was not yet. Bootprints. A man's. Large. Oh, so, well... Stinks of piss and vodka. I knows what I knows. Elsa bears her rump for the blackness. Little whore. Hey. Boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. Oh boy. The weird night. Take <laughs> Give his dog this water. Not with so many corpses rotting in it. Sure to be poison. Sure? Not so sure. Who knows? Will you go to the well in hovel instead? Not in your life. I will be ill when disturb a ghost. You about a ghost? Ours is a decent village. Oh, there we go. Lost his boots in the rush. Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. Everything's gonna be fine. Your grand told me about Smith's boy. 
dad went missing one day, so tracks lead back to the village. What did the folk do? Take like they could have sewed his head back on. Word is, they laid his corpse to rest. I shall <laughs> shall do it. Yes? And time swim. Fuck the heretic. Freak. Bleeding, but not badly. Surface wound. Sometimes when they talk. About their stories, and you. Trail ends here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. Won't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Drowner claw marks. It's gotta be him. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner? What the fuck do you care? Whoa, our arsonist's a charmer too. Come on, Smith wants to talk to you. I not talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all, and dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throat. Am I not right? No. Listen, we can work this out man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. I don't. No. <sighs> you are going to face the consequences of your actions. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! <laughs> Calm down. Now follow me. Uh, do I have to redo the site? I forgot I wanted to, to exit the, through the back door. God damn it. It's Durban now. D E R V A N. Hmm? Not Goidemar. But, what do you mean? I know what they named you at your cutting. What kind of name is that anyway? Keep a roof Durban. over your head. That's something. Milk garden. When the black ones laid siege to the and burned the oh, town. Dear Lord. But you would maybe get going. Daddy. Yeah. 
Let's talk smooth. There we go. Up and at him. Hmm? What? what? What's going on? Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Nap! You! I knew your mum for years. Charged her nary a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No. Willis, I beg you. I, 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 I was drunk. Didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. A witcher found him. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree. Sorry. Harsh as punishment goes, but deserved. You know, I hated the Black Ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil still holds, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. Three. Uh, he fucked up. Majorly. A return customer. Welcome. What can I do for you this time? Um. Show yeah. me what you got. I think I'm. Yeah, one, two. Never really used the glyphs. So. Really, of use now. I'm going to. Uh, is anything. Hold on, my cat's raking. Um. Oi! There we go. Sorry about that. Um... I see that. Oh, I only armor. Oh, damn it.
Show me what you got. Oh. So long. Okay. Yes. Sir. I think those plums are wreaking havoc in the gut. Think over Press Get Third person So What my main Goal here is Is to Do all those questions All those discovered locations All the quests can get everything because I think in my orchard I did it, but never in the whole world. So this this is my goal. Approach, study, pal. Take it easy. What happened to your mother? Come on. Also, quest with Everest. Is he? Oh. Always sat there empty. This hurt. That is, till the night afore the battle, a man arrived, walked right in like for his own, standing at the window, peering at the goings on. Cause next I knew there he was coming my way. So I grabbed me pan for protection. See, but he just asked all polite, Gran. Got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. Just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. Baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Mm. Interesting. What happened then? Before dawn, another rode up to the hut. But come on, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him. And me pan. We're old, black with such, not worth much, I suppose. But I've no other. Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm a fear to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Methinks the other fellow. Well, at least lying there. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case.
corpse. Explains the stench. His throat. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. What's that, dearie? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Thing of oh. Documents almost entirely burnt. A few pieces still legible. And you arranged to me show up. I did, risking my life and the entire blasted operation and ended up stranding here with <laughs> waiting for nothing. I thought the North Guardian army was better organized than that, but you tell the blessed Lord General of yours that me and my companions don't hold grudges, so we won't break off negotiations. Since our old plan's gone, tits up, and the time we'll choose the time and place for the next meeting. Uh Uh, the priceless frying pan. They say I'm going hmm. barmaid. Scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. Found the pan, have you? Chill. Earlier. Roach. What the heck? Here, your frying pan. Mine? The mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this sun if I wanted. But them years are past. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. Urgently burned some other documents too. And... And the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the North Guardians. Hang about. You've earned a token of thanks. Yes. For the Lord. You, Grandma. Try up a nice white fish for Change west. I don't think we're ready for order. Check on yet. A Gwent quest. Let's ride around a bit and move it. It's been a while.
found. I think those were level four, so I'm not very keen on uh, fighting. Maybe I should stay here. You know what? Let's go up to the North Coast. Hey, yeah. We progress the quest, but all. Slow now, whoa. Come on. Camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you? You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sugwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Guessing your captain's got work for me. This is the army, Nordling. There is no guessing. To the tower. Go. Is. Skoltais Griffin is Or who you visit me? My brothers will never be We must requisition the share of your harvest. Hi, Your Excellency. I know there is little left in your granaries. But soldiers are men too, and so they must eat. Correct? My Excellency. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier. You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. That girl. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it, and then I shall see what I can do. Why do you care about this griffin? Because I care about people. The beast has killed ten already, including a few of my men. To hunt it, I would need to mobilize the entire garrison, comb the woods, organize a batu. Simply impossible. Too big a hassle? No, too high a risk. I cannot disperse my forces. Demeria's army we have crushed, but its common folk remain, ready to answer a call to arms. So, as to this griffin, I can sit on my hands, or hire a professional. It's a deal. 
Some questions before I start. Know where the Griffin has its lair? It's kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the Griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? Mm. Need more information about this Griffin, its sex, why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this, but I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Tomira and Mislav. Thanks. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to quit it for now. Maybe later I will return. But for now I have some errands to run, some things to do. But this was very fun. Again, thank you for the follow. I don't know what to call you. AI. And uh, it's fun. It's, it feels good being back. So we'll probably I probably return later. Um. Apparently, I have some stuff to do. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So that this thing a fight at Pavilion Nordling, Fana. Uh, I need to go. Until then, probably uh, eight hours. I will be back. If you want to rejoin me? Bye bye.